Hi, and happy Sunday. How'd your weekend go? I feel like we just talked to each other yesterday. Uh, this is Sunday on the Uplift, so it's the recap and rev up episode. Um, for those of you that are new, and I think we all more or less still are new on this journey, uh, Fridays are going to be our cocktails and conversations, kind of like a downshift into the weekend. They will probably be longer episodes. Uh, Saturdays are our points of reflection and kind of continuing the theme of whatever we discuss on Friday and put that into action. And Sunday is the recap, uh, asking for results, comments, likes, questions, and interplay. That's what's going to make this more dynamic for everyone. Not just saying, oh, Krista, I loved what you said, but telling me about your experience, what you did that we put out there for all of us to kind of try and what results you got. I think that part of the interchange is what's going to make this unique. Now, the other thing is some people are complaining that these are too short, <laughs> which like you can't please everybody. This is a work in progress. Um, Friday night's episode was 12 or 13 minutes, which is a long Instagram video, but not so long YouTube for someone that wants to settle in and think about something and certainly uh, not long in podcast world. So again, Fridays are going to be a little bit more extensive because we'll have more to talk about and catch up on uh, Saturdays. If you want longer ones, I'll do longer ones, but um, I'm trying to judge the views and the interplay and the interest. So you will help me carve out whatever path we go on. So couple different things that happened to me this weekend. Uh, Friday, we talked about leveling up and upscaling an event. For example, don't use a plastic cup. Put something in some crystal. Just honor yourself. It, it engages you in a different kind of level of experience um, with common everyday things, right? And there was a lot of appreciation in the comments and in the follows of people that had done it and had honored themselves with that kind of precedence and um, found a positive feeling in that part of the journey. Now, it was pretty funny because on Saturday, I took a picture <laughs> of my cocktail table and I have like a little display, seasonal display thing. And I had my candles lit and you could see my, my kind of armoire in my entryway in the background. And I had a wine glass uh, filled with a beverage. <laughs> and a lot of people text me and uh, commented and DM'd me and said, oh, I want one of those. That looks delicious. Sign me up. And it was really uh, diet cherry soda <laughs> in one glass. Um, but that is an example of leveling up, right? I'm leveling up now. I've got my white t-shirt on for the weekend. I really wasn't doing anything all that special today. And I got this killer necklace that I found at a thrift shop. So someone that runs into me would say, what is she doing? She's like casual, but like dressing it up too. It's all the choices you make and all the levels you want to take this stuff. Now, Saturday was really interesting. Um, by the way, my daughter is a wonderful person. <laughs> she, when, when I was watching that um, on Instagram, I said, oh my goodness, you look absolutely devilish and mischievous when you turn the camera on yourself. She really is lovely. Um, but we were discussing in that particular episode, how do you look at your life? What lens are you looking through? In other words, in these days, when we have so much social anxiety, um, we have people complaining about depression and isolation like we've never heard of before. Uh, it's very easy to live in that negative space of all the incoming kind of things that bombard us from the outside world. And we tend to bland out, bland. Everything is bland. Everything is something to be conquered. And what I did in that is I really wanted you to start to pay attention to what lens you're looking at life through. There are always pops of color there are always pops of light. There are always simple moments of appreciation that say, my goodness, the sky is outstandingly clear today. My 
goodness, that breeze felt wonderful. Oh my goodness, look at that tulip that's trying to pop up. Uh, it's just the simple things that change your, your head set and where you take it from there. Um, so it was pretty interesting because Saturday I was talking to my daughter. We went for lunch. Um, she does not live in the same state as I do. And it was just some connective time. We had like a two hour lunch. It's beautiful. We took our time. It was by the water. It was a rainy, dreary day, but you couldn't tell that by our conversation. So she was asking me about the podcast and some of the responses that people have been uh, giving me who kind of want to take the weekend to look at things in a positive light. And we were talking about uh, the discussion of a couple episodes back, the friends that I know that say, you know, when you say, how are you? How I'm amazing. Like my friend Luna, who I've never met over in the UK. Uh, I'm excellent. Like my friend Doris. I'm fantastic. Like my friend Jean. So literally we are talking about this and the waiter comes over for the first time and introduces himself. And I said, hello, my friend, how are you this fine day? And he said, I'm outstanding. And they, I both looked at each other and it was kind of like, was that a sign? <laughs> it felt like a sign. Um, so as I say, you're free on the week. I want to look for signs, signs that you're on the right track, signs that you're doing the right thing, signs that maybe are all around you, but you're kind of insular uh, to the, I had some notes here because I didn't want to forget to tell you some stories. Beware this coming week of sabotaging yourself going backwards. We're on a positive journey here. We're on a pleasant, uplifting kind of weekend jaunt. Uh, and I, I sabotage myself. And it was so funny because after we filmed Saturday's episode, as you know, if you watched it, May was, and I've given up filming outdoors in the wind until April wind storms have died down, which is why I'm filming from my home office. But uh, my daughter was very diligently trying to cushion the phone's speakers so that the wind would not be so impactful on what I was trying to get across to you. So we decided that we would put captions in uh, the last minute and we're sitting in the car and we wanted to pop it up on air for all of you to see. And the captions are there and we're kind of correcting them as we catch them. And there's one that we didn't, uh, uh, that we missed, but I said to May, I think I want to, I think I want to move the captions over my face. And she said, mom, what sense does that make? And I said, well, I'm not really crazy about the wind and the way my hair looks and my face looks puffy. And she said, man, oh man, aren't you like supposed to be taking your own medicine here? <laughs> You're not putting the captions over your head. So I was struck by that and the fact that uh, she noticed that and she reprimanded me on it. And that was kind of like a shake up, wake up call for me, right? Um, we so often view ourselves in different challenging ways that aren't always full of self-esteem or positiveness. And that was kind of my lesson to walk the walk that I'm talking to you, right? And we all will fall into pitfall, it, holes in the road where we say, oh, I didn't really react to that the way I wanted to with a positive mindset. I fell back in my behavior. But if it happens to me, it happens to everybody else that's going to watch this. So this is why we're on the journey together to kind of encourage each other. Um, poll, Thursday. Oh my goodness. Thursday, I'm going to put up a poll. What cocktail from Todd's book we're going to make for Friday conversations, uh, cocktails and conversations. So look for that poll on Thursday night, uh, put your entry in and we'll crack open the book and we will be making some while we talk about Friday's topic and next week's topic, which is going to be do-overs. I say no more because it's going to be really thought provoking. All right. I leave you with quote of the day. Until we meet again. 
bring your thoughts from this weekend into your daily life. Continue to level up where you can. Continue to honor yourself and not sabotage yourself with words and captions over your face. And quote of the day, act like the person you want to become. Kind of fake it till you make it, but we've all got it in us or you wouldn't be watching this, especially to the length that it's gone through. Uh, thank you so much for coming on the ride on Recap Rev Up Sunday. I hope you continue to stay for the journey. Stay well, my friends. Look for the poll on Thursday, and I'll catch you back Friday night. Take care.